You're about to learn about nuclear forces and energy. An atom is the smallest particle that comprises a chemical element. An atom consists of an electron cloud that surrounds a dense nucleus. This nucleus contains positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons, whereas the surrounding cloud is made up of negatively charged electrons. When the number of protons in the nucleus equals the number of electrons, the atom is electrically neutral. Otherwise, it is an ion and has a net positive or negative charge. An atom is classified according to its number of protons and neutrons. The number of protons determines the chemical element, and the number of neutrons determines the isotope of that element. Typically, the nucleus is less than one tenth thousand the size of an atom. The nucleus contains more than 99.9% .9 of the mass of the atom. Nuclei consist of positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons held together by the so-called strong or nuclear force. This force is much stronger than the familiar electrostatic force that binds electrons to the nucleus. The nucleus stays bound together because of the strong nuclear force. This force is an action between the protons and neutrons. This force can overcome electrostatic repulsion only when the protons and neutrons are close to each other, as they are in an atom's nucleus. Nuclear fission is the splitting of the nucleus of an atom into parts, lighter nuclei often producing free neutrons and other smaller nuclei, which may eventually produce futons. In the form of gamma rays, fission of heavy elements is an ex exothermic reaction which can release large amounts of energy both as electromagnetic re re radiation and magnetic energy of the fragments, heating the bulk material where fission takes place. Fusion is a nuclear process in which two light nuclei combine to form a single heavier nucleus. An example of a fusion reaction important in thermonuclear weapons and in future nuclear reactors is the reaction between two different hydrogen isotopes to form an isotope of helium. And this is a picture of this nuclear fission, which is helium. Fusion reactions have been going on for billions of years in our universe. In fact, nuclear fusion reactions are responsible for the energy output of most stars, including our own sun. Scientists in er on Earth have been able to produce fusion reactions for only about the last 60 years. At first, there were small cell studies in which only a few fusion reactions actually occurred. However, this first experiments later led to the de development of thermonuclear fusion weapons, hydrogen bombs.